What is the difference between this and this? I'll give you a moment. Well, you should have noticed that there's some air outside of the lung which is compressing it that has put more than one tall teenager in a hospital. The point is you have to make the effort. If you don't make the effort, you're never gonna get well. So breathe, breathe. Relax. Breathe. Called a spontaneous pneumothorax, and to explain how this happens, you can think of the lung a bit like a bike tire. If there's one small weak blister on it, then that part is more likely to puncture and lead to the air being released from the whole tire. But with the lung, this air has nowhere else to go other than the space around it, which along with the elastic recoil of the lung causes it to collapse. If that happens spontaneously, that can cause sharp one-sided chest pain, breathlessness, and a persistent dry cough, which in fact would not resolve on just trying to breathe harder. In many cases, it needs a chest strain to actually remove the air around the lung and allow it to reinflate, but we also need to make sure that there's no clot in the lung because that can also cause similar symptoms.